What's up, Spartans? It's Dr. L here, your chief mind doc at Spartan Mind, where I'm here every Wednesday looking to increase your mental resiliency and toughness so that you can not only focus on your physical performance out on that race course, but show up in life in the way that you want to. All right, so today we're talking about the oh-so-uncomfortable topic of lying and how lying impacts you and your brain. All right, so let's start with the brain first. The thing about lying is the more that you lie, the more that your brain habituates to the lie and becomes desensitized to it, right? So think about it this way. The first lie that you tell may be rather uncomfortable, right? But then you lie again and it's only sort of uncomfortable. And then you lie again and it's not quite as uncomfortable. And then another lie and it's less uncomfortable. So lying can kind of take on this snowball effect. And the more that you do it, the more that your brain becomes desensitized to it. And then eventually lying isn't uncomfortable anymore. It actually maybe makes you more comfortable, okay? So that's the way it can impact the brain. Now, here's the way that it can impact your sense of self. The more that you lie, you are reserving space for a false sense of self. You are basically not only telling yourself, but telling other individuals that you can't be who you really are meant to be and you need to be somebody else and present that somebody else, that false sense of self to those individuals out of your sort of sphere, right? So out here. So, how that's unhelpful is that we truly, as human beings, are all meant to be a very unique individual person all on our own. But when we deny ourselves that right, when we deny ourselves who we actually are and we begin to lie about it in one way, shape, or form or the other, then what's going to happen is it's going to erode at your sense of self and your self-confidence, right? And not only are you going to feel fraudulent, but you're going to be fraudulent. And it's going to be really difficult for individuals to actually authentically connect with you because they are not connecting with an authentic self, okay? So now lying can take all forms, right? I mean, we can have small little white lies. We can have big, grander lies. Lying can kind of lay on this spectrum from kind of little to big. But it, the size of the lie actually doesn't matter. It's just that inauthenticity, that out of alignment with integrity that makes the difference, okay? So if you're out there and you're thinking to yourself, well, I only do like small little lies. I don't know that it's that big of a deal. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now that it actually is, right? Because it's eroding that sense of self inside of you, okay? So there's three questions that I want you to think about. And also, let's just be clear, if you're out there and you're saying to yourself, I never lie, this podcast episode is not for me, uh-uh, I don't buy it. Somewhere, somehow, somewhere in your life, you have told a fib. Usually we all have, we're human beings, we're fallible. But it's important for you to own that and then to kind of explore what's going on and why, okay? So again, back to these three questions. The first question is, where are you lying, right? Are there specific arenas in your life where you spend more time in the dishonesty pool than the honesty pool, okay? The second question is, why are you lying? Are you looking to get attention? Are you looking to feel unique? Do you feel like you're not good enough and lying somehow elevates you into a position of being good enough, okay? So that's that second question, why are you lying? And the third question, how is it serving you? Now, this is a question I ask a lot on these podcasts, but it's really important because it moves you into a position of being out of awareness of how this is impacting you to moving into awareness of how this is impacting you, okay? So how is lying serving you? How does it make you feel better or how does it make you feel worse? How does it improve your relationships or how does it erode the trust in your relationships, okay? So again, those three questions, where are you lying? Why are you lying? And how is it serving you, okay? And that's not only how lying impacts your brain, but your sense of self. All right, now we are here for you. Spartan Mind is joined by Spartan Athletes, Spartan Way Habits, Spartan Up Podcast on Tuesday. We've got episodes for your mind, body, soul, spirit, for your business. 
We are here for you to build up that mental resiliency, that mental toughness, and increase your physical performance as well through Spartan Health and Spartan Athlete. Make sure you're joining us, finding us on Spotify, on YouTube, commenting below. We want to hear from you. I'll see you next week. Anytime, anytime <coughs> we're rolling right now. So, you know, Sorry. Are you ready to go? Okay. No, can you hand me my water?